Well, it's certainly been a while, hasn't it? So any of you guys that have been following me for any amount of time know that I haven't uploaded in kind of a while. It's been two or three months, maybe. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't been keeping track. I just know that I haven't been making any content. I was actually off of Instagram for probably about six weeks, but now I am back. If you follow me on Instagram, which you definitely should, check out me. This is just Christopher Burris on Instagram. I'll post behind the scenes, photography related stuff, um, just generalities of my life that you guys may be interested in, and you get to see kind of the beginnings of these videos before they actually come out. And it's going pretty well. You guys have been very responsive and uh, excited to see me back on the platform and that means a lot to me. I'm so glad that I have got subscribers that actually care. Some people are super excited that I'm back. It's so nice to have people that care about what I'm doing and uh, are looking forward to something that I may make next. So that's awesome. That's definitely motivation to keep on going. So I am officially back. But let's go ahead and address a couple of the reasons, excuses, whatever you want to call them as to why I kind of disconnected from social media and uh, content creation in general for a couple months. Um, most of it was <clears throat> when I started my YouTube channel, I had absolutely zero goal as to what I wanted to do with it. Um, I really, I kind of, I don't know if any of you really old subscribers may remember the daily vlog I did before my tech related videos. I have since taken them all down because they were just downright embarrassing. But I did a daily vlog for about 40 days, netted about 15 total subscribers from that, and really just kind of accidentally came into the camera tech review kind of realm of YouTube. I did a video, it did pretty well. That was encouragement to keep on going, but basically it started out of nowhere. I didn't mean to start this channel in the way that it went. So I didn't have a goal. That was really the biggest thing. I didn't have a goal for where I wanted this channel to go. I hit 4,000 subscribers, that was huge. I didn't know anybody else that has a YouTube channel that, that I know personally that did that well. So I, every single time I hit another milestone, I was, I was the most of anybody I knew and everybody was amazed by it. So that was kind of a nice feeling and it felt like I had accomplished something even though it was just a few thousand subscribers. And then I hit 10,000 subscribers and thought, I'm doing all right. But it certainly felt like I had accomplished something on the platform and I kind of felt a sense of completion like I was done. So that really kind of killed the motivation to keep on making more and more content. Um, I hit it really hard for a little bit and then kind of fell off the face of the earth, uh, came much more infrequent and then stopped altogether. But on top of losing my thirst to want to do better and succeed at this platform, uh, I also, I work a full-time job my wife and I started a business that I help with. Um, I try to go to the gym regularly and stay physically active in general, and that was really falling off hard. And uh, kind of wanted to get all that stuff back in alignment because there's kind of a lot going on. But so I had a pretty good break of a couple of months, got all the rest of my life kind of settled back down and uh, now I'm ready to start making content again and I'm going to try and do it consistently while I still have all those stresses in my life still I'm still gonna try and do a video I'm gonna shoot I'm gonna shoot for once a week we'll see how that goes so that's the goal this is video number one of a video a week minimum for all of eternity so I got some pretty good content in mind for things I'm gonna do on this channel I got some more reviews got gimbals got lenses um, camera bodies. I got a new camera body, the a7 III. It's laying around here somewhere. Still recording on the a6500. Um, but we're going to switch back and forth, do some comparisons. I'm excited to see how these different camera bodies stack up because it's just... I like doing it. That's why I'm doing this channel. I've also got some interesting, weird ideas of my own. Longtime subscribers or even more recent subscribers know I can do some pretty brain crap because I just enjoy doing that kind of weird out-of-the-box stuff that may not make much sense but is entertaining to do and watch nonetheless um, because I still do have a full-time job and it is in woodworking as well as my wife's business is in woodworking as well I am going to continue to have dirty hands and uh, injuries of some sorts but that's just part of it I will try and keep my hands out of the frame as much as possible especially in close-ups if my fingernails are particularly dirty just know that that's that's what you're signing up for here on this channel 
But I'm looking forward to making some content. If you guys have any ideas on things I should do, feedback on videos that I do, please let me know in the comments. I'm all about trying to make adjustments, trying to improve this channel as much as possible moving forward. And I'm excited to give it another go. If this for some reason is the very first video of my channel that you've ever seen, um, I'm not exactly sure why you made it this far through the video. But also go check out the rest of my videos on my channel and subscribe if you like them. So that is all for this little I'm coming back video. Um, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit subscribe. Go check out my Instagram like we talked about earlier. And uh, we'll see you in the next video within the week. See ya.